It is one of the biggest events of the year in North Texas, one that has been going strong for 122 years, and it returns this week. The Fort Worth Stock Show and Rodeo kicking off on Friday. Our Todd Unger is live in Cowtown with what we can expect this year. Todd. Marie, in just about five days, all the carnivals behind me will be going, and of course, the pens will be full of livestock. But truth be told, there's actually already quite a bit happening here behind the scenes. These are the long hours you don't always see at the Fort Worth Stock Show. Men and women from all over. I am from Gilmer, Texas. It's about three hours east. Putting in the time so they're ready for more than one million potential customers. We're going to put big bins in so that we can hang all the garments. Then we put a western sign up, all kinds of decorations. Debbie Johnson's boutique is called Miss Behaven. She's one of hundreds already setting up for the 122nd stock show later this week. Tradition, good customers, repeat customers. Speaking of repeats, this year marks the 100th anniversary for the indoor rodeo, a concept Fort Worth was the first to push in 1918. Ladies bronc riding back then, men's bronc riding, trick riding, roping, events like that. So it was really our first indoor contest that became the forerunner of today's modern rodeo. That rodeo is on borrowed time at Will Rogers Coliseum, with Dickey's Arena being built next door. The performance moves there in 2020. The seating's going to be a lot more comfortable. The, uh, the sound in that building's going to be a lot better. Although the show doesn't officially kick off until Friday, there is some competition this week. Starting Monday is the Chisholm Challenge, which has become a big draw over the years. I've been working really, really hard to get to that point. Last year, we profiled some of the courageous young men and women with special needs that take part in the Chisholm. A lot of them will no doubt be back again this year, joining other returners. Little Western Flair. Eager for the big show to begin. Todd Unger, Channel 8 News.